the format of the robot. It was an autumn night, the flowers bloom, and it was a normal time. A journal was next to me, dreams and whatever, it was covered in a thick leather layering, turquoise in coloration, although it had a slick feeling to it. A large computer on the table remains, it was functioning, and the internet connection was far just fine. The day was October 8, 2015, and it felt like a new age of sorts, games and whatever it was, it was exploding at the time with over just a population of millions of players. The light reflecting the computer stayed long enough, albeit kinda bright. My eyes at the time were at 11.23 pm Eastern Standard Time, and it was damn well bright. I mean really bright, as my eyes were tired enough, it wanted to go to sleep. A feeling loomed over my head, it felt empty as I had no friends on Roblox at the time, and it was kind of eerie. So I hopped on and joined a game, Natural Disaster Survival, one of the many games to be popular at the time, and joined it. The server at the time had many players, enough to have a glitch of its server, to which another player or I, break the server limit, and join the game without these maximum restrictions. Well, I wasn't kicked at all, maybe something didn't have enough time for these implemented restrictions or server restrictions. The sky was a bit different from the other servers, and the thumbnail itself, as the sky was orange, but nobody noticed it and moved on to the games and have fun, at least to my knowledge. The players and I, just moved on to have fun with the game. The next map, Surf Central. The game started as normal, the orange sky still remained, albeit the disaster or event selected was a typical outside the normal cluster slash range of disasters randomly picked. It had its own name, Sasara. The name was a typical on its own, albeit flashing images started to appear of an 18th century Buddhist depiction of the cycle of rebirth, or the wheel of rebirth, also including the apparent Sasara, the beginningless cycle of repeated birth, mundane existence and dying again. The sky still didn't respond to the event and or the atypical nature of the situation, albeit a slight difference in coloration was detected at my knowledge, appearing as it was grey shade of orange to a much more darker shade of orange. The appearance of a catastrophic karmic failure started to appear, as the status quo of multiple super typhoons within the game started to also appear. It was at the time, designated as in quarantine by Roblox administrators, meaning that players within the specific server cannot leave the game, and now this is extremely disastrous and catastrophic, still super typhoons still appear, although in a docile state as in Frozen. I immediately wrote down the chronological orders of the event within the server onto my journal. The game appeared as the atypical activity had disappeared, until another catastrophic event happened within the server, as manifesting as a goat with extremely anthropomorphic traits and physiology slash morphology, also appearing with reality bending abilities capable of bending the Roblox physics engine as a whole. It was extremely catastrophic for the server, the chat was going absolutely crazy, and players within the server were locked inside the server. The goat bent the server as a whole for a little bit of time, until the goat spawned at least 25 NPCs, appearing as the default avatar in 2015. Albeit through the developer console, revealed that the group of NPCs had backdoored the game via an unknown script, and randomly disappeared with all of the players, receiving a server-side script that appears as a GUI, and shares a wide range of other server-side scripts. The server went crazy with all the scripts, executing one of them and repeating the same process over and over, until the server executed an entity, heavily resembling the Bathabit, sitting in thin air, in the cross-legged position. The Bathabit had a voice or sound, similar to a soprano, albeit the Bathabit is male, and this is generally considered abnormal. The server in response of the Bathabit, was generally confused, the supposed goat, not including the Bathabit, had also disappeared without anybody noticing its disappearance. The server remained silent, no chatting, just nothing. Apparently, we were directed by the Bathabit to remain silent, and after we did that, we were again told to do his work. The Bathabit spawned two cauldrons, wrapped in aluminum, and once again told us to do the work, in which he was referring to the cauldrons. We also were told to dump the other players into the cauldron in which we could apparently do, and the contents of the cauldron reveals that it is acid, albeit colorless. 
we were forced into this work of his, no responding, and forced into dumping players into these cauldrons. We still remained silent, and also told to kill each other, albeit that statement was also forced upon us as a component of the work. We desperately raced to finishing the dumping of the players, when all of a sudden the bath of it disappeared. Some players noticed the disappearance of the bath of it, albeit it absorbed all electromagnetic light once it left, creating a supposed black hole. We also had realistic sweat draining from our character models, which is disturbing to be at least. Until the server shut down as a result of this catastrophic chronology, a chronology of disastrous events that affected the server and its players as a whole. After leaving the game, the screen of my large computer, or just computer, absorbed all electromagnetic light. An apparent and normal phenomena to be quite honest, 